What's up YouTube, in today's video we will be taking a look at if you can use Android KitKat on a cheap tablet from 2014 in 2020. So the tablet we have here is an Acer Iconia 17B1730. And if you're wondering why there's tape on the screen, I just did that to avoid any reflections. So what we have here is an Intel Atom Z2560. So this is actually a, um, what you call it, um, an x86 desktop, well, not really desktop, but a x86 CPU. So it's not a typical mobile device CPU we have in this device. The device was released in June of 2014. This one was manufactured in September of 2014, according to the box. So we are running Android 4.4.2 KitKat, which was released in late 2013. And we have a 3700 milliamp hour battery. This is the exact capacity that this Pixel 4 XL I'm recording with has. And this is also my the tablet I've had for the longest. It is the oldest one I have in, well not oldest, but the one I've had for the longest. I've had it for over five years now. And this very tablet was the same one I recorded my first few videos with, both on screen and on camera which is why my old videos have potato quality so we'll just be taking a look at the basic stuff you can do with this device in 2020 the device still is still supported by google well when it comes to the play store and some google services not all of them like youtube the play store google itself gmail google news all of those get updated still but google maps hasn't had an update in a while so we'll just be taking a look at what you can do like if you try to game it's not gonna work i'll just try candy crush first here and candy crush will run in somewhat playable but it's very laggy and same goes for other games like i have sonic the hedgehog on here but the ads make it lag and then it crashes I tried to play Super Mario Run on this, and Roblox, and Minecraft, and they all crash when you open them. So, even though they support KitKat, they do not support this device specifically. And I know Candy Crush does lag and it's not loading. We'll be taking a look at what you can still do with it. Like Google Maps, you can pr still view satellite images and all that with which I'm just gonna try moving it quickly so it doesn't give out my location. But I can still look at the satellite images just fine and they load well enough. Well, maybe not, but, oh wait, now they are. So maybe if you give it some time Google Maps does work if you want to take a look over some neighborhoods or whatever, or just some areas around town. So Google Maps is still somewhat usable. What about YouTube? We'll watch one of my own videos at full resolution that this supports and we'll see how well it does and don't ask me to get youtube premium because i will not get it i don't need it i'm fine with using youtube free so we'll just go to my videos and we'll view one of them so one of my later ones this one I'm turning audio off. Now I'm going to go full resolution quality to 720p60, which is the max that this tablet itself can go. And I don't see 
see any lag, no lag in the however got on tablets it's different. So I do not have 4K videos and I do not want to really watch any one else's content, so that works fine. Web browsing is obviously fine. Not on Chrome though. It's actually very laggy on Chrome and it does sometimes crash. I would recommend using a light browser like Opera Mini or Yandex Browser Lite, which is what I am using. And it gets a pretty decent HTML5 score. Which isn't the greatest, but it's good enough for a tablet and it makes it very usable for web browsing. And I'm not sure if my website's broken or, well, it's actually my website is broken. So it doesn't load some sites that well, but you should get away with the popular ones. And why is there, wait, why is there two tabs open? Oh, HTML5 test was still open. And I'm trying to go to Apple, like if you want to buy an iPad and... I don't know why <laughs> I would buy an iPad with this thing when it should be good enough. <laughs> anyway, no, it's not. But yeah, a lot of stuff do still work. Like Gmail, it takes long to load, but it's good enough. Which I hardly send emails anyways. I'm mainly the receiver of emails. And they do... They do come up just fine. Well, give it a few seconds. So yeah, it ain't the greatest, but some stuff does come on, come up. How about news? I never actually opened this yet. The app just, the Google Play Store just forced force installed this because the old google news app was discontinued which i just uninstalled all the updates for and disabled the safe storage no open an article and see how long it takes to load it also depends on what kind of site you're pulling up most of these will load as an AMP site, and you can see here that this is loaded as AMP, and the black squares are either images or ads that haven't popped up yet. So you can read news web browse with this so far. How about streaming? That's the one thing I've, I usually do with in these videos. I was streaming with this earlier. It's Dreams just fine on this older version of Amazon Music, but the one thing is if I have any other, is if I have any other, is if I have any other apps open, it will crash. So I can't l listen to music with other apps open, but it can be used as a standby device, like just set it, well, not really set it down because it has bottom firing speakers. But just put the tablet down and listen to music. That will work fine. Tune in, I've also tried, which I try in every video, and they always support older versions of both their app and operating systems for some reason. And I'm kind of glad they do that. It seems to put life into my older devices. And the camera isn't that great either. I'll go take a quick photo of something. It's going to look worse because of the tape. And you can already tell that it doesn't look that great anyways. It takes 1600 by 1200 photos in the camera is Acer's own camera. So 
it is their own camera that they use in this tablet which you don't see that that often anymore a lot of cameras are made by other manufacturers nowadays so there's not really much else you can do with this besides web browsing and streaming i've tried games the only game that runs good is geometry dash but the others don't work that well i've also tried facebook i mean this works well enough but i've already tried the reactions don't work in facebook Lite, so you're stuck with just liking posts and i know the calendar will obviously work because it's just a calendar almost every operating system in the whole history of the world has a calendar So is Android KitKat usable on a cheap tablet in 2020? Well, yes, to some extent for web browsing and and streaming on YouTube or other video apps that support KitKat. And music work fine. Web browsing works fine. Social media works fine. So yeah, on Android KitKat on a cheap device, there is a lot you can do with it so would i recommend it and eh, not really use something better like amazon's fire Seven 2019 which i did in a review last year a few months ago and that i would recommend for cheap tablets instead of buying an old used one like this one this isn't the greatest tablet but i've had it for so many years it's already on its fifth year now of being in my ownership. And in December, it will be my sixth year, the sixth year, sixth year mark with this. So I guess this is, well, I guess this is it for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to check out all the links in the description of this video. And that is it. And... See you next time.